This one is a reply video. I'm just gonna beta test out this poem called PPA Search made by a good uh, YouTube homie of mine, uh, Ranklies. And um, what's his YouTube name? They call me Confucius. Uh, if you want to do your own uh, reply video, that'd be great too. You know, he needs some feedback. So I'm gonna test this out. And it's called PPA Search. Basically, that's what it is. And but it's only for the terminal right now. Okay, so PPA Search dash p and then you search whatever you want like I'm gonna search for subcast here uh, you're searching for packages that you know either has a newer version or it's not in your repositories and you're searching for in basically you're searching for launchpad uh, PPAs uh, so this is how it comes out you know the searching is not terribly slow but it's not the fast either if you can improve on that that'd be great so this is the uh, you know the package that we're looking for all right versions uh, who uploaded this and the last modified date um, some <clears throat> sometimes when I'm, I'm doing this I want it to sort out by uh, the dates that was last modified it or by the names because it's not really sorted by you know ABC order you see how it skips from this to that um, I don't know I, I probably want it to be you know within the ABC order all right Another thing is that uh, it's not that relevant, okay? If I'm using Lucid, um, I only want to see like Lucid packages, not Karmic or Jaunty or Intrepid, because it's not going to work for my system, and, or I'm not going to use it, right? Another thing, I don't know if this program does it or not, is that um, when I manually add a PPA, I would always assume that they have 32 bit and 64 bit. That's not always the case, and um, you know, I wasted my time adding it. Uh, so if you can actually make a filter based on these two criteria, you know, the system you're using and the architecture. Okay, so Lucid, 64-bit, that's all I wanted to do when I'm searching a PPA. Uh, okay, so anyways, let's see if we add one of these PPA in, okay. So let's say I choose three, enter, and it's going to ask us, do you want to add it? Yes, we'll add it. Uh, you want to see some other ones in there? Yes. Uh, I do like this one. Okay, you can actually look inside it for other packages that you might want to install also, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, and now uh, we'll go yes. Let's do an update. So yes. All right. So we're done. So those are some of the things that I found um, that I, you know, had I had problems with, or I might want to improve on there. Another thing is that uh, let me show you this one. Uh, it was kind of weird. So I'm looking for this package, okay, XBST. So let me show you that this is a download tool for uh, for video clips. But when I use uh, the PPA search, okay. Uh, XPST. We'll see what happens. Look like this. No results found. Now that's not true because there is a PPA for it, and the package does exist. And that's the exact name of it, you know. And let me show you here. So XPST PPA. And I will go click on this sucker. Click on here. Okay. And um, it's actually in the second page. Maybe that's the reason you didn't index the second page. Uh, so let's see here. Say XVST, it does exist. There is a PPA. It's just that it doesn't show up in in the program. Uh, I'm not sure why. Say they have Lucid and everything. Uh, so I don't know what the reason that is, but uh, you can fix that also. That'd be great. And I think that's what uh, some of my uh, you know opinions on it there. So all, all I said was uh, you know improve on the search. Uh, some files you cannot find here. And the other one is uh, searching based on your system criteria. Okay, so you're using 64-bit uh, or you're using Lucid. Um, 
that's what I want. I don't want any other information that I don't need. Uh, so that's it. Hopefully you can fix that in the next release. You know, give you something to do there. <laughs> that's it for this one.